Welcome to BKW Physics. I'm Mr. McConley. And we're going to start today with a projectile demonstration. And this is a common misconception. Most people think, in their mind, that if you have a heavier and a lighter object, they'll hit the ground at different times when you drop them. So for instance, if I drop a tennis ball and a bowling ball, people in their mind think, no, that the bowling ball has got to hit the ground first. Well, I have two metal spheres here, and the first thing I'm going to do with them is just drop them from the same height. And you can probably hear and visually see that they fall at the same rate. This one is lighter just because it's got a hole drilled in it, but basically otherwise they're pretty close in mass. But that holds true. I could drop a huge bowling ball and one of these little ones. As long as the bottoms are lined up, they would hit the, hit the ground at the same time. That's the first thing. But the second thing that's much more interesting is if you were to drop one ball and fire the other ball horizontally. Now, we're not firing at an angle because that changes everything. If we fired at an angle, it would take a longer time because it would have to go up and then back down. But if we fire this one horizontally, so it goes straight this way and then eventually tapers off, and what's the path called? in the air? The trajectory, thank you. So, and then if, if we were to watch these two, they would still hit the ground at the same time. Do you believe it? Well, let's see it. Now this, this is going to happen kind of quick. I'll do it a couple times, but it'll happen quick. And you almost have to just kind of blankly stare ahead, because if you watch one of them, you won't see the other one. One's going to hit here, one's going to hit over here. Okay, so just blankly stare, and you'll probably be able to see that they hit the ground the same time. Or at least you can hear it. You can actually hear them bouncing and hitting at the same time. So I'm going to do it again. This time I'm going to put it on a little bit higher power, which just means it's going to shoot it a little bit further. I have to check for level, because if I don't get this level to start with, then all bets are off, because I'm basically firing one up in the air or firing it down, and then it just won't work out. So I'll use my little mini level to get it close enough. All right, here we go, one more time. And this time, see if you can do this, it's kind of hard. But if you let this one like fall this far as you're watching, you're kind of blankly staring and it falls about this far, where should this one be? It should be the same height. Good job. Because there's only one thing pulling both of these down, and it's gravity. Just because this one's moving forward, that is independent. There's two different types of motion. There's horizontal motion, and there's vertical motion, and they're independent of one another. How fast this thing leaves, say it leaves at 5 meters per second, it will continue to go 5 meters per second all the way down until it hits the, the ground, the table. But in the vertical direction, what's its initial velocity? Zero. Zero. Two, four, six, whatever. The numbers get bigger as it goes down. Those are independent of one another. You ready to watch again? Here we go. 